Are you ready to go head to head? Because I am. I hope you're going to enjoy this. The Colt Detective Special versus the Smith & Wesson Model 12. Hopefully you've watched their individual videos. If you haven't, subscribe to my page and find the individual reviews of the Colt Detective Special and the Smith & Wesson Model 12 for my good friend Slick50 and his entire amazing collection. I've done tons of videos and interview with him. Now that I got my Mika's pocket holsters, look at my full review of these. And now that I got my Zeta 6 speed strippy thingy cool 3x3 loaders and, and uh, even a couple of speed loaders HKS, we're ready to go with the head-to-head -head test, which is the ultimate, not five shot, I don't like five shots. Six shot snubby revolver. Okay, guys, look at the beautiful shine. I just did a video at Slick 50's house on how to polish up uh, this and his Smith Model 19. So if you want to learn how to polish a chrome or nickel revolver pistol up, I have a video on how to paint the front sight nice bright orange there which makes a huge difference. Uh, we got a K-grip adapter added to this now, so it actually fits my XL size hands better. Empty, empty firearm, six shots, look at that. Both have amazing triggers. These are old, and the firing pin is on the hammer, guys. That's why you don't want to drop it. It won't break it a bit, but you don't want to drop it too many times. Why I do that in the video. Really, really smooth back in the day. Which one do you think you're going to like? I'm going to shoot on my targets online, photorealistics, targets, doing all kinds of cool stuff. So stay tuned, brother. If you're the man that carries two snub nose six shot revolvers. So, New York Reload style, Jim Cirillo, his partner. I mean, maybe you should fear the guy who carries two snubbies, especially six shots. So. Alright, guys, welcome to day two of the Colt Detective Special versus the Smith and Wesson Forgotten About Model 12, both six shots. Alright, we're gonna be reloading from K Packs from Zeta Strips, and now these are ready to go with different holsters now. The very excellent Mika's Pocket Holsters made one for the Colt Detective, or LCR-ish, and one for the Smith. And actually, for ultra concealment, pocket carrying this as the backup is how I'm rolling today in the offside front pocket in this holster with the Smith, even though it's a K-frame because the grips are a little smaller, so it conceals there. And even though the grips are thicker, they're a little shorter, so it also conceals better. This carried appendix uh, actually fits in the Relentless Tactical. I should get a better draw than what I was doing last time. So this is more fair. And now both, I have a video on how to paint the front lights. If you look, it came out really well. So watch my video how to do three layers of painting the front sights. It's really going to help with the Detective Special. Already was doing pretty good on the Model 12, but now things are more fair and more ready for carry. And this now has the BK grip adapter. This makes a huge difference for me. It's definitely going to make a huge, huge difference for being a defensive revolver. And so today, this is my offside left hand front pocket backup. This is my primary. I will be going to a diner later. Uh, and these are carried in my back right pocket now. I like how the K-Packs go together to throw in a pocket. That's really good. Look into them. And anyway, guys, uh, I guess here we go. Ultimat did send me a wonderful grip for the Model 12. I'll have to probably put it on another revolver. So Ultimate sent me a wonderful one. But the grip frame is actually a little bit thinner on the Model 12s than all other uh, K frame, so I would have to sand it a bit. I think I might just do a video putting it on my friend's uh, model 19 Look at all that and here we go. So about five yards and I'm just gonna do kind of like uh, And if I shoot a little high because this is hanging a bit low so muscle memory Let it surprise you Thank you. All right two in the heart I know it was slow We'll kind of speed up as we go along. I do got to familiarize 
Myself with my foot. Yeah, you dropped the barrel. You didn't see yourself do that? And one in the heart and spine, one in the lung. Colt Detective Special serving me pretty well so far. All right, Joe. Okay. Pull the slide back. Pull the slide back. There you go. Change magazines. Uh, I dropped one of those low. Four in the heart, one in the lung, and one low, but on the spine. So this seems to be just six inches. And that's pretty good. Four in the heart, one in the lung, one on the spine. That one also hit the spine. That one nicked the spine. So Colt Detective Special, good. Now we'll try the same thing with the Smith. All right, let's do it with the Smith Model 12 now. Uh, perfect heart and spine. I don't want to trouble, dude. I got to hook. Uh, two in the lung. Upper thoracic, still pretty good. You saw that my shirt draw got messed up that time. That's why you train. Hey, dude, I don't want to trouble. Good. And a little slower that time because I had to roll the pistol in my hand. I have XL hands and... I have extra hands, and um, so the BK grip is a huge improvement, right? Huge improvement and good for pocket carry. Um, now, if this was my primary, though, I might be better off serve with the ultimate grip and sanding it down because the Model 12 is a little bit thinner here because it gets me a better master grip off the bat. So that third time, I mean, two out of three, third time I kind of had to, like, throw it to roll it to a better grip, so it might be just a little bit slower on target. Good. All right, so model 12 is good to go. One, two, three, four, five, and six. A couple of these are fine. Three in the heart. We had four in the heart with the uh, detective special, but I did drop one low with the detective special. And that's probably on me. Obviously, I see all those in a seven and a half inch. So I think both are good to go. I like that one. Do you mess with a guy who carries two six shot snubbies? It's more. All right, time to get a little more serious, so let's go on the range tech timer. I'm not sure if I have the settings right. You can change the commands. I'm going with the ready command, a one or two second delay, and uh, I guess we'll do double taps. So we'll go appendix attacks. We're going to go offside, backup gun style, because that's what's more important to me, um, from the uh, Mika's po great pocket holsters in a minute. So uh, let's do double taps to begin with two-handed the first couple times. Okay, two good upper thoracic hots. Shots, 1.71, a little slower. I'm about a 1.52 guy uh, with a semi-automatic pistol. So having a roll in my hand a little bit there, a little slow for me, but I'm still getting used to it. 1.71, 218, uh, so a very, very slow split for 38 week coil. I should do far okay. better than that. I got a so shit grip, but it's no one, it's no one B zone upper thoracic. And I like teacup that grip. That was bad. All right, let's try a little one handed, more like point shooting with the warning to the guy. You gotta let it hey, back off, dude. Back off, dude. I'm armed. Don't make me, man. Back off, dude. Back off, dude. Don't make me. And I got one miss and one good hit. Maybe you should get two hands on a gun and use your sights. All right, here's the results. Working a little bit faster. Four, perfect, upper thoracic. And then the last time I did one-handed point shooting, bait, like really not using the sights, just seeing the orange. Got one an upper thoracic and one miss. I don't like misses. It was only five yards, but that was one-handed kind of point shooting. And that's the reality of it. All right, Smith's turn. Let's try it. And you see what I was talking about earlier, how bad a grip, even the BK grip, it's still thin for me. And I had to throw it in my hand to rotate the barrel towards the target. Uh, I got one B zone and the other one, uh, oh, I got two B zone. I was on top of another shot. So let's, uh, let's try it again. Uh, 
On the first time, it might have been a little high. I'm curious where those went. Ain't doing great today. That first shot was not good. It went down into his right wrist. And the second one, I think, or maybe the other way around, was B-Zone again. So, let's try the point shooting one-handed this. Oh, and I might shoot high and right again, unless I get a perfect grip on the gun off the bat, which is unlikely, at least in a leather, uh, you know, holster. So, and let's see how we did. So really guys, about even uh, with the Smith, I got Smith in a group about that big with the Detective Special, same fire with the Model 12, I got one down here when I was point shooting. And with the Detective Special, one high and right. So I don't know, one low left, one high right. Maybe I need to work on my one-handed shooter more. I try to do every range trip. Um, and not having a good sight picture is not ideal. Try and get two hands on the pistol and use at least the front sight. So, uh, but still, about even. Everything's been about even, so that tells you about me. But I think they're both really great uh, revolvers. Let's see what's next. All right, guys, now going left hand, off hand, one handed to start. I'm going to see if I can make a headshot at three yards. I might miss, uh, but these are important things to know. Uh, thumb on the back of the hammer. I'm going for Mika's pocket holster. I'll go on the timer uh, and I'll pretend the guy asked me for. Okay. Give me your wallet. Muggery. Okay. 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 One good reason always carry a backup in the offside front pocket. Yeah, that's much better. Oh, okay, dude. No problem, man. No problem, man. I'll give you a wallet. I'll give you a wallet. No problem. 1.26 seconds. I like that more when it's 0.98, but first time doing it with this, and, and I got a pretty good headshot, a little low, but 1.26, guys. You gotta time your stuff. No idea where my shot went. I think it low. Now I got Daniel from The Walking Dead right in his mustache, so just a bit lower and a tenth of a second slower, 1.27. Okay, let's do some two hand. Okay, running out of time for robbery counter ambush. They come in on the right side. Do I want to make this motion? Or would I rather counter ambush with the backup gun? You don't get a decide spatial relationship. So robbery comes in from the right. You counter ambush from that pocket on your backup. So let's see if I can get on the timer. Back to five yards. So you, oh, you notice they come in. Don't look like you're a threat or a defensive guy. Just kind of shy away. Get your hand on your pocket. And those were the last four we had. Let's see how the hits were. Okay, pretty slow spits, but again, that's my offhand. 132 to first shot, which is good because you're cheating the draw by having your hand already on the pistol in the pocket. Oh, but four A zone upper thoracic. I like these. These are pretty much show stoppers. Hopefully, that one's also pretty good. So, there you go. All right, same thing with the Smith 12. Whoa, 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 hey, man. Okay, chill. No problem then. No problem then. I'll give you my wall. I'll give you my wall. And on the cheek, 1.54. Let's do that again. Oh, shit, man. Okay, I'll give my wallet. I'll give my wallet. Boom, baby. Much better. 1.3, much better. That's what I need. That time, didn't you? Same as before, robbery counter, ambush, backup gun, offside, spatial relationship. They're off to the right. What's the best, quickest hit in movement? The guy. You shot between his legs. Okay, they come in. Whoa. Look down, look away. Don't be a psychological. They see you're scared. And then work from there. Ready. All right, let's see how I did. That's the same as before. That's better than I did with the detective. That's probably me. Instead of strung out left to right, I got three on top of each other and one right there. But, guys, these are so close, tight to tight. I'd say both the Colt Detective Special and the Smith & Wesson Model 12 are some of the top five pocket three stubs ever.
Fear the man that carries two snub nose six shot revolvers. See what I did. All right, guys, I brought the pain in 10 seconds, 12 shots in 10 seconds from concealment. Slow splits, guys, but still, that's transitioning to the backup New York Reload. So New York Reload style, Jim Cirillo, his partner. I mean, maybe you should fear the guy who carries two snubbies, especially six shots. Yeah.